yoga, pranayama, realign, elevate Bringing peace to the mind, letting go, meditate Feel the flow, it's about the glow, stimulate So leave oh, the, that's the one formerly the V and the Vendettas And then subsequently V double E, or was the other way around? Yes, V double E moved into V and the Vendettas All right and you started the band here at the Media Music, where we are now, and you were the one that introduced me to Media Music, so thank you very much for that. <laughs> and now Pleasure. it's coming full circle because you're here being interviewed by me. Yes, love it. So, what's happening in Leah V's world these days? Wow, well, I have to say, um, past couple of years, major transformation. Um, qualified as a yoga teacher at the end of 2016, and that has taken me on a huge spiritual journey uh, raising my vibration and I've managed to take that energy and put that into my music so now I'm sort of rising up uh, working on new material for an EP um, called The Journey Okay, which is quite an appropriate title considering I've been on quite a journey um, yeah and just pushing teaching sharing yoga writing raps singing recording um, yeah. So there's a lot going on. There's um, a lot going on. <laughs> let's Maybe see if we too can, much. <laughs> let's see if we can cram this in. Um, so I've worked with you in the past, so I know that you kind of yes. like some uh, electronic genres like drum and bass, a bit of dubstep, uh, but you also like your Amy Winehouse. Yes. Um, what's the new sound going to be like? So I'm taking it back. Uh, I am more of a mature woman now. Um, I felt that I wanted to explore a lot more singing. Um, so going with hip hop, kind of neo soul, jazzy tones. Uh, so it's a combination of mostly mostly singing, still dropping some raps, um, but telling my story for the last couple of years. So um, it's uh, kind of Amy inspired with a touch of Erica and Lauren, just trying to connect with that sort of soul feeling and uh, yeah, yeah. Just Cool. And when are you going to release that EP? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I'm aiming for September. Cool. But um, all very much depends on the creative process. I'm sort of like on track, track four of five mm -hmm. at the moment. So yeah, fingers crossed. It's just all got super hectic now. And <laughs> I'm like, okay, find the time. But uh, you can't put a deadline on creativity, you know. So True. Just so you're going to be performing the new material with and your old material with your new band. Yes. Tell yes. me about that. Uh, so I uh, got invited to perform at the Breakout Club for Women in Music um, and I was offered the headline slot and I thought, OK, 40 minutes. Can't really do it with a DJ. Got to get a band together. It's about time. It's something that I wanted to sort out for a while, but mm -hmm. just sort of just didn't. And then it was like, OK, let's do it. So um, I'm just in the process of beginning rehearsals in fact today is going to be sort of the second rehearsal um haven't met everyone in the band yet so it's quite exciting and we haven't all rehearsed yet so we've got a couple of weeks to to nail it but i'm sure we will um so far so good like the energy is really good we've got um nine of us in total so two sax flute bass drums guitar keys backing vocals and myself um, and we're going to be doing some covers, um, sort of switching it up from hip hop, drum and bass, reggae. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people to manage, and it sounds like you'll uh, have to put a deadline on <laughs> <in> that creativity. <laughs> yes, yes. I never make things easy for myself. It's always like, okay, if we're going to do it, we're just going to go in and yeah. Hey, sometimes mm -hmm. you work best under pressure, right? Now yes. it's going to be good to see you perform um, you. along with uh, a few other artists I've had the privilege of interviewing. Um, set the flow. Yes. What's that? Flow, you get to know. Set the Flow is my baby, let's say. Um, I've been facilitating rap and lyric writing workshops for, I think, I don't know, eight to ten years now. So I was sort of freelancing. And I just wanted to start my own thing. So um, because I'm a music facilitator and a yoga facilitator, it just sort of, you have flow in rhyme and rap as you do in yoga, as you do in life. So it just all kind of, kind of came together. Um, so it's just, it's just, I suppose, a... A little blanket for, for everything that I do. So I, I mentor uh, young people. So I go into schools and youth clubs and run workshops. But I also facilitate yoga classes. Um, and yeah, it's all sort of under one roof. And, and um, hoping to develop yoga rap 
that sort of Yoga where we're going to kind of bring them all together and get them all stretching and wrapping at the same time, which should be quite interesting. So what does what does a typical workshop look like? Because you talked about before we got on here, <coughs> sorry, before we went on here, you talked about um, you're doing reggae. Yes. Uh, focused workshops well it'll be reggae yoga uh-huh. so that I'm, I'm i'm quite creative i, I just like to try I, i can't sit still for one minute i'm always just thinking okay let's do this let's do that so um i got an opportunity to start um teaching a yoga class at a new venue called mamas mm-hmm. and i wanted to explore reggae yoga particularly just because the music has such a positive vibration and it works really well with yoga practice um so it was just an opportunity to say okay let's let's try and uh, bring bring the two together um and i think there's definitely a market for it people are really feeling the, the ideal vibe so that's sort of one one place i'm traveling to at the moment and uh, <laughs> they're going to be rolling out a workshop for every genre like will you have an edm uh, metal Who knows? Uh, jazz it's possible but it, it's it's quite it's quite niche i think with the yoga rap it's going to be it's going to be uh, a bit of a journey i'm still in the process of trying to create a pilot because it's they're so um two different art forms and trying to bring them together so yeah but watch this space yeah actually um where can people find out about your stuff okay uh, the internet is a big place it is um best thing to do is go to settheflow.com and there you'll be able to uh, find links to my music so leah v um and more information about my yoga classes and the and just me and yeah the stuff the music that i teach as well cool and uh from your early beginnings you know throughout your journey and yes. the, which will also <coughs> which will also be your the, the the focus of your ep you say yeah what are the key lessons or words of wisdom that you've picked up that you want to pass on yeah i would say uh to anyone that's wanting to pursue uh, a career in in music um take your time build your confidence explore your creativity really find your niche and don't let anyone tell you any different to to what you believe and what you do i think it's really important to just stick to your guns and even if it does take a very long time because it's taken me a very long time really to figure out who i am as a person um yeah just just keep going and keep pushing and keep believing and you will get to where you want to get to where you need to go and yeah keep it real keep it real cool <laughs> all right we'll see you keeping it real on the 25th keep it real. of june yes um, right in the last thank you very much thank you so much buddy never the Pleasure. same convert the hurt and pay make it sweet letting go no regretting accepting admit defeat all this testing is a blessing choose your weapon and breathe